Hello darlings, uh, here is a tiny little project I want to share with you. Uh, it's nothing much um, except it's really cute and first I thought I, I won't even bother to uh, make a video of it but then I thought okay this is just a kind of project I never uh, record for my own joy for example so I did uh, this. Uh, I decided to do it now. Uh, Bloom from Within, it says in the cover. And this is a flipbook I made for a friend that is uh, uh, Secret Garden themed. I made a kind of a flipbook out of scrap papers. And then I decided that I would actually bind it as a book. And as you will soon see, it really is a simple one. Um, because I didn't want to make anything too complicated, but just something that I would enjoy doing. And for the papers, I have used a lot of Tim Holtz scrapbook papers and lots of paper garden prints, of course, because they are designed by me. So uh, mainly the papers are from the fairy tale garden team kit. Um, and I thought the team, team would be perfect for a secret garden. So let's open the gates to a garden. Uh, this, um, this is actually the flip book I made, this. Uh, I made just, I started to uh, make, I, I think I started with this one. I just started to make something without uh, any kind uh, of idea what it's going to be. And then I um, decided I would find it as a book. So these were uh, made first and then I made the covers. Uh, later and I find found really suitable uh, prints for it dream and fly says a tiny little uh, fairy um, ready of to jump off from a fox claw and I made these prints for paper garden as I said and I did want to add some kind of magic in it to in the prints. So I decided to instead of um, Latin names to add the symbolism of each flower included in the prints. So Flux, Fox Claw it's, uh, symbolis, symbolizes magic and creativity and I thought it would be a wonderful start to fly off into the garden. Uh, Violet, dreams and inspiration. Crocus, joy, hope, and new beginnings, and hyacinth, peace and beauty. Can you hear the flowers grow? And lots of butterflies in there. I have used uh, Tim Holtz scrapbook book papers. Then I have um, kind of glued all the papers uh, uh, in place with Finnober soft matte gel. And then I have at times used um, Finnober Heavy Gesso for kind of binding the book uh, pages together or flip book pages together. And I have used um, Distress Ink, I think it was Walnut Stain as usual, for distressing uh, the pages a bit. And they really are simple ideas. Um, to use these flip books. Uh, this is made of one uh, large 12 to 12 inch um, paper that I have just then used like this. And here, blossom by blossom, a garden and tiny little tags. Wonder, wonder often, wonder always, and serendipity, uh, finding something beautiful, looking for it. And 
written here. Listen, listen how flowers look. Here is a tiny little windage um, clock hand. And I uh, love how these um, fairy tale storybook theme uh, kind of makes you smile. And then there are different kind of inspirational prints. Then I have put some um, uh, transparent printed stickers in there. And there is a rose fairy. These are stickers too. With some new stickers. You are responsible for your rose. From Little, Prin uh, Little Prince, I think it was. I thought it would suit really well with the rose fairy. And let's put this inside. Again. Okay. Her heart was a secret garden. Wild rose symbolizes gentleness and adoration. And I love to do as my uh, as I do often in my journaling some um, spots you can't access immediately but you need to open them up and it kind of makes them more fun imagination will take you everywhere Robert Einstein and then there are these tiny little journaling card prints and let a fairy inside you fly. You are inside every kindness. And again, some prints and yes, there are summer flower seeds in there that I have picked last year and tried to be um, grown this year. Let's put this back together. And turn the page. Spread your wings. And liquid sunshine. I have uh, used vintage book pages here and there to kind of um, make a look that continues from page to page even though even though the coloring uh, differs a bit and and so on and here i think i started with this one so um i made this one before i decided that okay maybe um vertical uh, isn't or horizontal vertical is better than horizontal so so here is this little robin and iris um, symbolizes friendship hope and pride and then here are some little things I have to open your heart and find your wild and there is a crocus from our yard and hand dyed, bosomically hand dyed silk and a rose to tend to, Narcissus, a renewal and happiness. And I think I need to open this one even if I then need to close it again because I didn't really um, think that much I just um, 
I just created something um, to have enough nooks to open and magic and ordinary and even this one um, tool for moose stickers um, this is I don't uh, take it off but it's I have tied it in here but then in here there are um, more nar narcissus flower prints in there. I love the idea of a secret garden having secret nooks in there. Okay, let's close this one. And laughter is timeless. Forget me not symbolizes remembrance, of course, and true love. And here is another nook, or actually two. Some prints. And oops. more prints but I love the idea of, of those to be put in good use smell the rain, uh, raindrops it's actually uh, is a rainy day today so there is nothing like looking if you want to find something to your or talking that cornflower uh, symbolizes tenderness and here is a treasure lily of Sawali symbolizes return of happiness and I have just made a simple mm, kind of package from a scrap paper I had uh, did a tag in there and then I have put some um, dried flowers. I think there is common yarrow, lavender and burly everlasting in there to be used. And actually this should be, <laughs> I have forgotten to tidy, it should be so that I would need to open this up so I could ac have access to the next page but there is a gate to a secret garden and then some stickers and here are lots of prints with that it was fun to uh, try to create a complicated um, flick book uh, in tighties um, using using just a bit of a washi tape and and glue and uh, your imagination create magic and here's the last page This moment is enough. Come with me where dreams are born and time is never planned. Peter Pan. Now oh, I think I close this one. And uh, this was a really fun project to create without any uh, pressure uh, anything but having fun and trying to find <laughs> new ways of adding nooks for ephemera for the pages and primrose new beginnings and coronation gratitude health and love and then Happiness in smallest of things. 
And here it was. I uh, just took a um, cardboard box, cut some flips uh, as um, the covers, I did some scrapbook papers and prints and then glued another one in here and I have stitched the um, pages or flip uh, book pages uh, in here and then I just closed them into the cover so it really was an easy and fun project and I hope you might um, get inspired and um, want to test something I thought uh, this would be really a wonderful way to also um, keep memories of your summer to create a book that you can add some photos and maybe uh, try it and pressed flowers or something uh, really special uh, to show your summer memories and I thought I am going to create one with my daughter for this year. Uh, too. But here it was. A bloom from within. A tiny little journey or a jump for a secret garden. And I just thank you for watching and I hope I will see you soon again. Bye bye.